Hey guys, so I realize I have not vlogged at all today. So I am actually in front of Phoenix's school and it is 1.53. I don't, he doesn't get out till 3. But I, um, John came home early because he's sick again. Yesterday he got home from work and he was pretty much sleeping. Um, he woke up when the kids went to sleep and then he went back to sleep shortly after that. And today he came home early again because he's having the shivers and he went upstairs and was sleeping with a sweater and a blanket. And if you know John, he's never really covers himself. So I don't know, but I have therapy tonight and I really, really, really need a session. So I'm just going to take the kids with me. Um, our first few sessions, John actually came with me. Kids also. So I text her and I said, hey, I, you know. I don't want to cancel again. I'm just going to bring the kids with me. She hasn't rolled back, but I'm sure she's not going to mind if they went with me before. Um, I put them to bed at 7. I normally get home at 7.30 from therapy, so it shouldn't be bad if I give them dinner before we go and then um, just change them and stuff when we get back home. So that was that. Avery, I didn't put her for a nap because normally when she stays with John on Wednesdays I try not to give her a nap or a long nap so that he can easily put her to sleep but then that ended up backfiring so I said no I really want her to take at least a little bit of a nap especially if we're going to go to the therapy place because then she's going to be cranky and it's going to be harder for me to have therapy so I'm like I'm just going to go go to the Dollar Tree and I have to get milk and stuff and so the car ride she fell asleep i got to dollar tree and i'm like you know what? i'm just gonna let her sleep so i'm gonna drive to phoenix to school and sit there and watch dexter and relax until it's time for him to come out and i'm literally in front of the door that he comes out of so if he comes out and she's still asleep i can just walk right there and get him literally it's like right there like they can cross him to me so uh, I guess that's a good part of coming this early, getting the great spot. So, and then I got a call from Phoenix's school as I was putting every sneakers on. My heart has never dropped as much as when I actually saw the name of the school on my phone. Um, last time, I remember when he went on the field trip, they called me and they were like, oh, is this the mom of Phoenix? But this time seeing the name, I was like, oh my God, he has a runny nose. So I'm like, oh, maybe he's just, you know, he had a fever or something. But no, he, she said he got the, these red bumps on his cheek and she just was calling to let me know. Um, I feel weird because I don't know if any other parent is here early and parked and looking at me like, well, what is she doing? Or somebody looking out the school window. <laughs> um, she's talking to herself. And, um, oh, so he, the only other time, the only time he gets that on his face is when my husband kisses him with his beard. Um, something about John's beard makes that reaction on his face. So I don't know if something with that same material, not material, that same, I don't know, from John's beard, you know, that same feeling. I don't know how to, what I'm trying to say, but I know you know what I'm trying to say. So if something like that rubbed against him, maybe, and I don't know, he does have a guy teacher um and he does always like like to put his face up against other people's face so maybe he did that who knows but um she was just calling to let me know i'm like do you want me to pick him up she's like no he's back in class and he's fine they said he doesn't nothing wrong but we we're just calling just to make sure just in case it is something that you know of and i'm like honestly that's the only time i've ever seen that he gets that when my husband kisses him a lot he gets that like rash type of feeling so hopefully he's okay i'm just gonna let avery sleep and I'm just gonna sit here and watch some Dexter and I broke my mount I took it inside to do a video um, because I wanted to put it on the bathroom mirror and I broke it before I could even use it I had to like tape it up and try to like rig it to use it and now I don't have it in the car so now I have to hold my phone to vlog and to watch Dexter and so I need to find a new one so yeah after I get Phoenix I'm gonna go to the supermarket and then to Dollar Tree hopefully get home with enough time to feed them and get out the door to go to therapy and hopefully they behave so that's i caught you up on my day pretty much great so it's 2 30 avery just woke up i have about half hour left but i'm normally come at 2 30 but it's getting super cloudy if you notice in the last clip i had my sunglasses on because it was sunny and it's getting cloudy which is not good because I have to stop and go in with both of them to the grocery store to get milk. I have to get milk today. And 
I have to go to therapy and I don't want to drive in the rain with both of them. What's wrong, Mama? And now I'm parked right here. I don't want to take her out to go right across the street and get him, but I, sh I think she wants me to take her out. That's why she's crying. What's wrong, Mama? This part's a little different. It's called Deep Phoenix. Hey, buddy, what are you doing in there? It looks like he's in a cage in there. I first put him in, he was laughing. They were both screaming in the car on the way here. I have no idea why. <sighs> Seems like a long day. I was screaming her head off because Phoenix is walking, holding my hand. And I'm looking at some Oreos because you know what? I feel like having some Oreos. It's been a rough day. Are they two for six? Uh, Oreo birthday cake. I'm not. I like birthday cake stuff, but I'm not ready to try an Oreo. Hey, 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 we don't touch that, right? I gotta get out of here quick because if he sees that right there. He's gonna scream. All right, come on. Hi okay, guys, so we just got home. That was an intense session, but kids were pretty well behaved. I gave a Phoenix the iPad, and we're playing with some toys that were over there. As you can hear, he still has it. We just got in. She gave me some essential oils, lavender, and it's it really has helped me calm down. We just got in. That's what I just said, and it's. 7.35, so I need to get them to bed. Phoenix fell asleep on the way there. Um, so hopefully he still goes to sleep. John is still sleeping downstairs, so I ran up here with them, and they still have their sweaters and shoes on. Look at Phoenix. I swear to God, he could live with that thing if I let him. Buddy, we're gonna change you, and then we're gonna go night-night, okay? So I'm gonna let you guys go. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully this oil helps me sleep because I've been having trouble sleeping. I wanna look into essential oils. So if you know about essential oils or certain videos or certain things that I should watch, please let me know. Um, I know a few people here on YouTube sell them. So I wanna learn a little bit more about them before I buy them. but. I definitely think that I need something to help me sleep because I've been very antsy when I sleep lately. I just have like anxiety and so much, I don't know. Anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow for another day in our life. Bye.